Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here, and apparently welcome to the new Town Hall 3 Let's Play. Uh, last time we finished up the Town Hall 2, upgraded it, and I actually said, yo, by the way, um, I'm going to be upgrading this Archer Tower again, but apparently, I didn't know this, and a lot of you guys in the comments were telling me, level 2 Archer Tower is max for Town Hall 2. So, we're good. I didn't have to do anything off camera. Uh, you guys have seen everything up to this point. So, guys, it is now the Town Hall 3 Let's Play, and um, I'm super excited about it because things are getting even more complex. But the best part is we get five free gems. Oh, yes, five free gems. I'll collect. Thank you. And also, I have uh, 25 free gems in this gem box, so that's worth the elixir investment. So now we need to get some new buildings, right? Obviously, that's top priority and actually actually top priority is that laboratory right there that i'm looking at it's looking nice but i don't have enough elixir and i definitely don't have enough storage for it so uh first i guess we should get the new army camp that's kind of a major upgrade it's a five minute upgrade so kind of a bummer um also we have let me see i can't afford the third builder hut yet but i'm working on it i'm working on uh oh actually look at that elixir storage pool uh cool why did I say pool? I haven't swam in a pool in a while. Not sure why I said pool. Anyway, so elixir storage. And then uh, we're going to get the new gold storage. As soon as that's done, it is done. Nice. And how much will this upgrade actually take me? 15 minutes. Okay, no problem. Uh, we'll wait on that, obviously. Uh, we're going to have a new gold mine and a new elixir collector. But remember, I'm not upgrading them anymore. I have to get them to be able to upgrade the town hall later. But I'm not going to upgrade them beyond level 1 from this point forward because we're doing farm everything all alone so we're gonna farm everything uh but we're also never gonna get the clan castle and i don't see any indication that i have to actually fix this clan castle i haven't seen that yet so we'll see uh we'll, we'll confirm that i don't know about today but we'll confirm it eventually but yes basically i'm getting all the new buildings especially the ones that are really really fast upgrades like the uh, elixir collector gold mine, the storages and everything because basically they help in every way that you can imagine. You know, free loot if you're upgrading your collectors and mines. I'm not. Uh, also, it helps with, it makes it harder to three-star your base, obviously. We now have unlocked the mortars, which is super cool, and traps. I've got two bombs. Let's go ahead and get the bombs. They're instant upgrades. We'll just keep them there for now. And then lastly, let's get the new set of walls. And I'm just going to make a line because I actually have to sit here and design the base design but first let's just do like so nice okay so i've got the walls i'm not going to worry about building anything right now we just want to go out and we want to do some raiding i want to get more loot need a lot i need 25,000 people and i can only hold 17,000 how, how long is this going to take 15 minutes Oh, geez. Okay, we're definitely not going to get the laboratory today, but it's all good let's go let's go dominate a base i've got some giants i basically got jai barch and i need more than that. Although that's not a terrible amount. I need more loot than that. Uh, what about... Okay. I like this because there's no wall situation. Like, the, all the walls are off to the side like mine are now. But the loot just isn't that great. So, yes! Oh! Oh! Yes! Okay! Yes. Oh, this is glorious. Okay, so for, first... Let's just try to... Let's try to take out some distractions. This mortar, by the way, has crazy crazy range it can hit you from like anywhere on the base so this may be this may prove very very difficult to to do well but if i can keep the mortar distracted then we'll be okay so let's get the barbarians and the archers in there really really quickly and hopefully we're able to at least get rid of that mortar or at least get some of the loot right i mean we're we're banging on two elixir storages right now looks like those look at those giants dude they're they're struggling mightily right now they're gone wow okay this is gonna be a fail but the loot is great so maybe it'll be worth it i don't know dude I, i'm feeling i'm not feeling so good about this right now to be completely honest with you uh but we're getting loads of gold I and mean, look at this we've almost maxed out our elixir storage already and all we did was take out their storages and you know you only get like three percent of the loot that's in their storages you get 50 percent of the loot that's in their collectors in their mines hence hence why not upgrading our collectors mines is going to be great because we're not going to ever be worth a lot of loot when people raid us that's going to be pretty sweet but 15 percent zero star <laughs> Obviously, that base was 
strong. Okay, obviously that was a strong base, um, but we got got a lot of loot, which is great. I did lose five trophies, so that's terrible. But um, can I actually look at that person real quick? I'm a town hall three. They're a town hall four. Yeah, anytime you attack above your town hall level, it's gonna be tough, right? It's gonna be a struggle. But anyway, so where are we at now? We got 50 seconds left on the army camp. I've got an army sitting and waiting to go. But uh, what about, what else can I get? Okay, obviously the laboratory, I gotta wait on until I have enough elixir. The mortar is 8,000 gold. I've got 13,000, you can see that at the bottom. But it's a three hour upgrade. I better be ready to invest before I upgrade that. So let's just think about it for a second. This, this army camp being done soon is really exciting. Because, uh, like, for instance, if I throw in a, a giant, it'll cook, and then it'll become part of my next army, because this is going to give me more uh, army uh, army troop capacity. That's it. There we go. Uh, so here, I'm going to wait the 10 seconds. It's worth it to be able to bring another giant, because I think it's going to give me five more capacity, right? Right now, it's showing 30 out of 30. That finishes. Now I'm at, ooh, 50. Ooh, that's... That's nice. All right, let's try this. Let's put uh, five, ten more barbarians and five more archers. This is going to be nice. Also, I get to upgrade the barracks, right? Yeah, barracks to get a new, yeah, I can unlock wall breakers. And walls are going to become a problem soon, so I got to upgrade those soon. But I got to upgrade the barracks first. Yeah, that's it's a struggle. So I'm thinking, let me think for a second. That's 15 minutes. That's also 15 minutes. I'm not upgrading collectors in mind, so that's going to be a relief. 15 minutes for the bombs. Yeah, all these, I can't like do any that, that I can burn some time to do another one. So they're all too long at this point. So I'm thinking we go ahead and we commit to upgrading or getting our mortar because it's absolutely amazing. So there we go. 8,000 gold down. Here is our mortar. Again, I got to design a base. I'll probably do it off camera and just show it to you guys and share the link in the description if you're a Tunnel 3 following along. But I want to make sure I get all my buildings first too. That's a big part of it. So there you go. Mortar, it started. That's awesome. So now, uh, oh, come on, troops. Five gems. I just got 25 free gems. Is is it worth it to gem it? Or should I just be patient for three minutes or two minutes? I could be patient for two minutes. Yeah, guys, I'll be right back in two minutes. My army will be ready with 50 troop capacity. It's freaking nearly double of what I had to work with before. That's amazing. And uh, then we're, we're gonna go out and we're gonna dominate. Hopefully we can grab a crazy amount of loot this time. And uh, yeah, I'm still not gonna be able to get the laboratory, but we'll do something cool with it, don't you worry. All right, guys, 50 troop capacity is ready to go. Let's see if we can get a little bit of redemption because that first attack was pretty terrible. Uh, and we've seen that finding bases with, you know, 10,000 gold is actually pretty doable and doesn't take that long to find. So I'm thinking show a little bit of patience here and we could find a base that's absolutely worth attacking. And hey, if we get lucky and like max out our storages or whatever before the end of the video today, that would be absolutely amazing uh decent elixir not that great with gold so um here's what i'll do i will cut the i'll max my elixir with that one and get myself to 12,000 13,000 gold actually with that one you know what let's attack this base i, I actually like it i like it all right so let's see first is there a clan castle troop that's good i'm glad there's not okay so um Mortar, I need you to die for for me, please. Don't shoot. Don't shoot my archers, you stupid mortar. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so now let's go uh, barbarians. A few archers, but mostly I want the archers to focus over here. And also I've got some uh, barbarians to focus on down here too. Sweet. All right, so with 50 troops, I feel like I'm able to like, really get liberal with my troop placement like I don't have to think about every single troop anymore like I did before it's awesome uh, I'm able to just kind of you know let it rain out there you know what I'm saying so anyway there we go the last cannon is going down we're gonna do pretty well actually we're gonna do very well our elixir is gonna max out our gold is gonna get pretty close and um, and all we have to do is be patient and let the troops do what they do so that's always a good thing and the next thing about it is um Again, the laboratory, right? I mean, the laboratory, for those of you that don't know, most of you know, obviously most of you know what the laboratory is. But basically, it makes your troops stronger. You upgrade 
you get the laboratory, then you can upgrade your troops to make the troops specifically stronger. It's amazing. So we definitely want to prioritize the laboratory every single time you get the opportunity to upgrade that thing. And every, every time you get the opportunity, do a troop upgrade or a spell upgrade, which we haven't gotten into spells yet. That's Town Hall 5, I think, is when you start doing that. But just, you know, some things to be thinking about. So anyway, there you go. Good gold, good elixir. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with how that went down. So now, guys, let's figure out what we're going to do next. I've got 17.5k elixir. I'm thinking about going ahead and upgrading a barracks because I've got lots of elixir. Um, but maybe, oh, but I want to upgrade the, uh, the elixir storage as well. It's a one hour upgrade. Wait, that's a level four. Hold on. Oh, yeah, this one. Okay. 15 minute upgrade. It'll slowly get us you know, to the point where we can actually hold a 25,000 elixir amount. And then uh, we'll be able to get the laboratory. And the quicker you can do that, the better off you are. So I'm going to get this elixir storage going. It's only a 15 minute upgrade and uh, maybe do another one or two off camera. And the next episode, we'll be ready to go and get that lab. Okay. Does that sound good to you guys? It sounds good to me too. All right. So 750 actually wait. I don't want to log off with max elixir. I'm going to lose tons of elixir. Why? Is my face blurry? I don't know. My face looks blurry to me. Maybe it's just maybe it's just me. Anyway, so sorry. So uh, let's let's back up a little bit. I've got loads of elixir. I definitely want. Let's just do. You know what? I'm going to try. I'm going to try something crazy. I'm going to do all barbarians. Just all barbarians. 50 barbarians. Next time we're going to be able to try out 50 barbarians. and It's going to be a lot of fun. Cool. We good? All right, sweet. So that spent a little bit, little bit of my elixir. There's really nowhere else that I can put the elixir. Um, so I guess I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck with the elixir. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and upgrade this elixir storage, guys. Bam. There you go. And um, once again, next time, next episode, I'll have that elixir storage upgraded enough to where we can finally get that laboratory. So, guys, that's going to be it for me today in this episode of our Town Hall 3 Let's Play, the premiere. It's exciting. I was moving on to the next Town Hall. It's a lot of, bit, a lot of fun. I'll, I will also build a base design off camera, leave space for the buildings that we're missing, which basically is only the lab, right? Yeah, that's the only building I'm missing is the lab. So I'll definitely leave a space for that lab. And uh, share the link with you guys in the description. Maybe after we get the lab, I'll create the link so that it actually includes everything. Does that make sense? So anyway, again, that's all for me. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Like this video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already for daily gaming videos. And to join the hashtag Klaus family. Also, do not forget to support your favorite content creator using the creator boost. My code is Klaus. Uh, if you don't know what that is or where to go, hit the gears button at the bottom right hand side of your screen. Go to more settings and scroll to the very bottom. Under create a boost, input the code. Again, mine's code Klaus. And also do not forget that that will disappear every seven days. So you always need to make sure you double check that before you make any in-game purchases. That's all for me, guys. Remember that I love each and every one of you. And I will see you all again next time.